Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build With Your Girl Travel Bunny. Today we're going to be expanding our starter base. Um, but before we get started, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. And if you end up liking this video, please don't forget to hit, ugh, I can't talk, forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. So before you get started, we need to gather up some materials. And what you're going to need is 16 foundations, 8 window walls, 24 regular walls, 12 sloped roofs, you can do stone or wood, 7 wood ceilings, 4 right sloped walls, 4 left sloped walls, and 12 railings. So I'll let you get that stuff together and then we'll come back and we'll start building. So what you're going to do first is you're going to get your foundations and you're just going to place them around your already existing um, foundations. So you're just going to come one out on the sides and you're going to go two out in the back. So I'll let you get those placed and then we'll be right back. So you'll have something like this. So like I said, just one out on each side and then two out in the back. Next, we're gonna put up our walls. So you're gonna come out one on these sides. So you're gonna put your, your window wall down here and then make sure you snap it to the right foundation, which is gonna be the one closest to the back of the house. Not to the back of the house, but you know. <laughs> so you're gonna put one here, a window wall just next to that. I'm sorry, a regular wall just next to this. And then a window wall, then a regular wall, and then all regular walls across the back. And then you're just gonna mirror the other side, so just make sure that they match each other. So you should end up with something kind of like this. So then you're going to place your second set of uh, walls. So you're just going to do the same thing that you did on the first layer. So you're going to do window, regular wall, window, regular wall, then regular walls all across the back as well. So now you're going to finish off the back wall. So the middle three walls you're going to make three high and then the middle wall you're going to make four high. So you should look, end up with something looking like this. So. Now you can go ahead and just tear down the middle wall that you already had um, to, your right, to your starter base because you're going to have to get out obviously. So. Now you're going to grab your sloped walls and you're going to place those um, right here. So then you're going to place one on the side here. So just like that. Then you're going to place your sloped ceilings all along the side. There's going to be two rows of them. And you can actually go ahead and tear down the remaining walls of the starter base, those back walls, just because you don't really need them anymore. So now you're going to take your ceilings and you're just going to fill in the middle so that you can complete the ceiling. And 
And if you already have this tore down, like I said before, then you won't have the issue that I did. So once you have everything tore down, it should look like this. You're going to leave the front half of the starter base, just tear down that back wall. Then you're going to grab a stone wall and you're going to place it here. And then I um, forgot that you had to place these slope ceilings first. So if you do the same thing I did, um, then you can just place two walls down like this and then place a ceiling here, but you're going to have to tear up one of the slope ceilings. So if you place a ceiling here, or you're going to have to tear down this slope ceiling, and then if, but if you place a ceiling, a regular ceiling here, then you should be able to place the sloped wall. And once you tear that down, it should stay. And at this point, before you put up your slope ceilings again, go ahead and, and tear down um, the slope ceiling next to this because you're going to want to put a sloped wall exactly across from the ones that you just placed. Um, so that way you don't have to just tear up more slope ceilings. So <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So right here I try to place another one and then I realize that I can't do it because there's already a slope ceiling there. So. So like I said, if you just tear those up before or if you just wait to place those afterwards and you do this part first, then you won't have to tear up um, unnecessary sloped roofs. So if you do these, this part first, then you won't have to tear up extra stuff. And then once you have that done, your house is pretty much complete. And then you can go ahead and just add whatever you want. Like you could put pillars in those corners or put a fireplace in there. And this is tall enough for a vault. So um, I think you could, would only be able to fit one vault. So, But at least it's, you know, you can have one, at least one. But you should, should be able to fit your fabricator, your smithy. Or obviously you won't be able to fit a, a forge in there, a, a big one. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. And then you're just going to place your railings along the... Um, patio and on the second story you're just gonna place ceilings around just like in the front then you can just place your railings around that And there you have it, your expanded starter base. Like I said, it's not, you know, massive or anything like that, but at least you can fit a vault and a fabricator and without being kind of squished in there. So, um, hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please don't forget, forget to hit the thumbs up button. I still can't talk. And um, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one. See you next time.